Hello everyone, this is a presentation for uh, CSE 895 seminar class and uh, my project topic is AI generated image detection. With the advent of text to image generation models like DALI, Stability AI, Mid Journey, others, it raises some concerns such as AI generated image can be used to create false or misleading content such as deep fakes which can be used to deceive people or spread in misinformation. AI-generated images can be used to infringe on people's security, such as creating fake images, as well as AI-generated images raises legal and ethical questions like who owns the copyright or to the generated images. There are concerns about the use of artificial AI-generated images in sensitive contexts such as healthcare or criminal justice where the accuracy and reliability. This is the state-of-the-art photorealistic images generated by mid journey model as you can see it's very hard to figure out if the if the given image is generated from from ai and it is not also the accessibility of such text to image generation models is is very easy nowadays stable diffusion is one of the example which is free open source text to text to image generation model which generates image give you know, by giving user input prompts with the output of dali to Restrictions will be difficult to enforce, creating a technical challenge that I thought might be interesting to explore. Using an online tool called Reddit Downloader, I was able to quickly collect thousands of images from traditional art subreddits, for example, art, painting, and learn to draw, as well as explicitly AI generated art subreddits, for example, Big Sleep, Mid Journey, and Stable Diffusion. I labeled the images as either human or artificial depending on the nature of the sub they came they came from i was also careful while generating the human category to only include the images before 2019 which is before text to image really took off to avoid accidentally including ai generated images mislabeled as human art to choose from pool of models out there i came to know about auto train which depending on your data set chooses from a variety of models and suggests you the best possible model for your given data set these are the results that i got from auto train after training a small part of our data set in in auto train after running the auto train the small part of the data set i got to know about the best performing model was swing for image classification the final validation results were accuracy was 95 percent precision was 93 and f1 score was 97 percent thank you that was the end of my presentation thank you that was the end of my presentation thank you that was the end of my presentation